instead of using the whole screen or trying to crop just a, a region of the screen, I sometimes like to use this pop-up version of the timing light. And I've, I've been tweaking this and getting it to work better. Uh, but the way that this works is once that's started, it will change in sync with what's going on with your controls or what's going on with the timer. So if I bring in OBS Studio, uh, here I have a scene set up that includes my video. It's my video from a few minutes in the past. Uh, and I'm going to add to that scene a window capture. So it'll capture any window on my computer. I'm going to give it a name, pop-up timer, and I have to select the, the right screen, the right application on my computer. And I'll insert that. And then this becomes basically just an image that I can crop. So you, to crop, you do hold down the Alt key and drag. And so I can get rid of that menu bar at the top. And then uh, if I drag from the corners, I can resize this so that it fills the whole screen. Well, it's covering me up because it's, it's at the top of the stack right now. So all I have to do is drag that image down to the bottom. And now I've got myself with this uh, timer image in the background. I'm a little bit transparent there, you'll notice. Um, so my, my webcam is set up with a, a green screen background effect. And uh, I, I probably need to futz with the settings a little bit to, to get that to show up better. Uh, but uh, it does work, and I can go in and adjust the filters. And maybe for now, I'll just turn off that background. So this is another thing you could do. You could just show yourself uh, in the corner of the screen. And maybe I would get rid of that green screen behind me uh, and just show a little bit of reality, have myself in the corner, but still allow people to, to see most of my video as a big, clear timing light with some fun images. So the, the fun images are a recent update where you can choose any image off the server that is labeled with the word red, yellow, or green.